Today's the day we get ready for Dad's solar install. Stay tuned and see how we do it. In the Sedona Desert. Well, at least we got a workspace we can work on. <laughs> <laughs> the desert was sure beautiful though. Wow, I enjoyed working there. So far, everything's been going very smoothly. Um, you know, this is my first time doing an install by myself, so I'm, uh, we're getting through it. It's working out pretty good. So it's a little bit slower in the process than others probably, but no, I didn't say you're the guinea pig. I said we we together are a little bit slower than others in this process, probably. But you know what? It's getting done. And uh, I think it's getting done right, too. Okay, I think I'm going to run my um, battery charge cables from the solar controller. They'll be 6 gauge uh, welding wire. And we're going to come out to the negative and come out to the positive over here. Okay, so what I did now is these two wires come out of the solar controller and we'll charge the batteries off the solar panels. I'm not going to hook them up to the battery right now just because there's no need to, um, but the negative will ride along this side, negative post over here and the positive will come over here to this battery post. And uh, oh see, it's got power. Something's happening. <laughs> So I'm not going to hook them up now, but uh, I just wanted to get them all pre-wired and ready to go. Alright, so I've made a little modification here. I, I forgot about my uh, solar cutoff switch. Um, I had to put a, I got a 120 amp resettable breaker right back here that is uh, actually my cutoff for the solar, from the solar charger to the batteries. Uh, so now I've installed that, I'm just running my last wire. Uh, in now to uh, connect to make that battery connection. There we go. That's the solar cable, the black cable coming down. Yeah, this right here is the solar controller cable goes into right here. All the grounds come into one common bus bar right down here. Um, rather than having the control the solar ground go directly to the battery, I take it to the bus bar. So then the battery monitor can tell how much amperage has gone in from the solar controller. So there's that. And now this is the resettable circuit breaker. Oh, the breaker too. It's this is in the off position now. If I when I turn this on, it should be powered right here. But there's nothing coming down from the sun, so it's not gonna work out too well. So we're just gonna turn that off. All right, guys. Well, uh, last night, as I was walking around the motorhome a little bit uh, and checking out the work, I noticed we had a little bit of a problem inside of our sub panel. So I had to spend some time last night and uh, take care of that. And here's what we did here. This is kind of the finished project now. We got the sub panel in here. And this is the main breaker coming in off the uh, main panel. And then we got our other accessory breakers. Uh, to power the rest of the rig. Everything's all wired appropriately now and uh, we're going to put the panel on and uh, test things out. 
All right, well, I got the uh, panel cover back on the uh, sub panel here. Everything looks like it's falling in place pretty nice. I cleaned up the uh, pass-through compartment a bit, and uh, we're doing good here. So here is the sub panel. We'll get labels on there soon for what circuit does what. And you can see up here, the black wire right here, that's actually two sets of 6-2. That's the wire that we ran to and from the inverter. And then that's the mess of existing RV wiring right there. They just leave a huge mess in there for everybody. All right, here we have the original circuit breaker box. I got it all put back together. And everything's... I, I left all the breakers still in there, even though they're not hooked up. Um, there's only a couple of them that are hooked up that are running stuff. And we have those written down. And it's basically... Air conditioner, hot water heater, and uh, one other accessory outlet. And then this switch over here, whoops, that 50 amp breaker right there is the uh, breaker for the inverter. It sends the power supply to the inverter, then the inverter sends it back to the sub panel. But it's all cleaned up and ready to go. So I just plugged the motor home into shore power, and look at that. The inverter is charging the batteries right now. How awesome is that? So everything's working just great. And coming along as well as it could can be right now. Then we'll look inside the bay where we've installed everything. Nice little setup. So uh, yesterday we received the solar panels in, and uh, today we're going to start installing the solar panels. But the first thing we have to do is actually mount the brackets to the solar panel. And I haven't worked with these brackets before, so they're a little bit different, a little bit tricky. Uh, but we're going to get it figured out here in just a minute. Never fails. When you order something from China, they never send you enough nuts and bolts. So we have to make a separate run to get some more stainless steel nuts and bolts to finish off the uh, mounting hardware for the solar panels. Get her did. Get her did. So we've got these brackets from Renergy. <laughs> Not sure how much I like them. But they kind of go this mounts on the uh, this this mounts on the solar panel. Well, so the solar panel sits right here, and this one mounts on the roof of the RV. So what it does is it accommodates for the roundness or the, the slope Curve. of the roof a little, a little bit too, so you get a more positive connection. And I guess you could raise them and lower them a little bit if you really. I don't know, but it gives you more flexibility when you're attaching your panels to the roof. Except, they didn't give us enough stainless steel nuts and bolts. And they use metric, so it's even not, not as easy for us to find here when we're out of town a little ways. <laughs> so what we're doing here is uh, using an existing hole, using an existing hole, and put mounting the bracket on that hole and then drilling another hole to mount two screws in. Yeah, it seems to be going pretty good. And this is our third panel now. We've only got three more after this for a total of six panels today. Another little trick when you drill in the back of a solar panel, grab a piece of wood, put it underneath where you're drilling so you don't go into the glass. 
We haven't done that yet because I used the wood. We're not doing that. <laughs> so we've got one half of the uh, mounts all attached to the uh, solar panel. So it hasn't tightened down yet. But the I'm working on uh, attaching the second half of the mount now. And I just want to do this now so it's all done before it, so we don't do it on the roof. So these brackets are meant for curved roofs. They slide up and down a little bit to accommodate for different uh, different roof structures, you know, like Airstreams. They have, they're really rounded. Something like these would work good on an Airstream too, I'm, I'm assuming. But uh, I like them just because they're a nice solid mount. It'll work good. And again, if you like this video, click on the thumbs up down below. <laughs> down below. <laughs> you don't have to say click on the, just say give it a thumbs up. Well, it's down below, isn't it? <laughs> and then if you have a comment, leave it below. Okay. <laughs> I think mom's got it down. <laughs> Mom, you do it. <laughs> you do it, it's your, it's your deal here. <laughs> As always, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We thank you for watching. Until next time, Pow Hana! Hana.